What's up guys and welcome back to Wall Street Millennial. On this channel, we cover everything related to stocks and investing. If you've been paying attention to SPACs recently, you may have noticed the insane price action of Digital World Acquisition Corp, or DWAC, which has increased from its par value of $10 almost to $100 in just the past two days. At its intraday high on Friday, October 22nd, it reached $157 a share, making it almost a 15-bagger in the span of less than 48 hours. Obviously, this is highly unusual price activity. In this video, we'll go over what DWAC is, why its price has skyrocketed so violently, and finally, whether its valuation is justified. Keep in mind that we are not financial advisors and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Make sure to do your own research and consult with a professional before making any investment decision. On Wednesday, October 20th, DWAC filed paperwork with the SEC stating their intention to merge with the Trump Media and Technology Group, or TMTG. They plan to take the company public at an initial enterprise valuation of $875 million. There is also a potential earnout provision, whereby the founders could be awarded an additional $825 million worth of shares based on the performance of the stock price after the acquisition closes. This adds up to a total potential value of $1.7 billion. So what is TMTG and why are investors so excited about it? TMTG is a new social media startup founded by former US President Donald Trump. They are currently working on a social media platform called Truth Social. While it has not yet been released to the public, they posted a demo video on their website. Similar to Facebook and Twitter, users can post pictures and videos and interact in the comments section. The main differentiator of Truth Social is that they will have no political censorship. It will be a platform for Trump supporters and other conservative-leaning people to share their views in an unfettered open discourse. They say that big tech companies such as Google and Facebook are enforcing a left-wing ideology, where they cancel and shut down right-wing posts. They build Truth Social as a way to fight back against the big tech monopoly and even the playing field for conservatives. In January of 2021, Twitter and other social media platforms banned Trump from posting, as they claimed that his social media antics incited violence around the January 6 Capitol Hill insurrection. Without access to Twitter and other social media, Trump's ability to communicate with his supporters was greatly diminished. To remedy this problem, he decided to create his own social media platform so nobody can cancel him. The idea behind Truth Social is certainly interesting, and has generated a lot of hype from investors who immediately started buying the DWAC shares after the deal was announced. At the current price of $98 a share, TMTG is valued at about $17 billion. That puts them within the same order of magnitude as Fox News, despite having zero revenue and not having a finished product yet. So how successful is TMTG likely to be, and do they have any chance of ever justifying their current lofty valuations? Trump received 74 million votes in the last presidential election, so there are certainly plenty of Trump supporters in the US. But just because someone voted for Trump doesn't necessarily mean that they would use his platform. The reason that Facebook is so ubiquitous isn't because people are particularly fond of Mark Zuckerberg. The reason for their success is the network effect. With almost 3 billion global users, pretty much anyone you would want to connect with is probably on Facebook. It's a one-stop shop for all of your social engagement needs. They have also invested billions of dollars to fine-tune their algorithms to keep users engaged for many hours every day. When Truth Social launches, the hardcore Trump supporters will almost certainly open up accounts on the platform. Let's say you're a Trump supporter and you just made your Truth Social account. If many of your friends are either anti-Trump or don't follow politics, they probably will not make Truth Social accounts. Thus, it will be very difficult, if not impossible, for them to build a network effect like Facebook has. Also, with Trump building this social media platform from the ground up, it will probably be glitchy and slow for the first few years, especially if they get an influx of users on the first day. Early adopters may be disenchanted by the early technical glitches and abandon the platform after a few weeks when the novelty wears off. Truth Social isn't the first social media startup geared towards conservative Americans. In 2018, a software engineer by the name of John Matsey founded Parler, a social media platform that does not engage in political censorship. It became popular with Trump supporters and conservatives in general, with high-profile Republicans including Ted Cruz joining the platform. Parler became popular in early January as many Trump supporters flocked to the platform to avoid perceived censorship from the traditional social media companies. After the January 6th Capitol riots incident, the Google and Apple app stores banned new downloads of the app, and they said that some protesters used it as a medium to incite violence. After the app was finally re-allowed on the App Store in May, its novelty had already largely worn off, and it attracted only 32,000 new users in its first month back on the App Store, according to Forbes. 
The problem is that their target audience is too niche, so they have no way of reaching critical mass and achieving the elusive network effect, which is necessary for social media platforms to become mainstream. While they don't publish their number of monthly active users, they probably aren't that big seeing as their app only has 65,000 reviews on the Apple App Store. For TMTG to justify its $17 billion valuation, Truth Social needs to become orders of magnitude bigger than Parler. While the Trump brand name will certainly give them an advantage, this is still a highly uncertain proposition. And even if Truth Social does manage to build a large user base, they face another problem. They have to turn engagement into dollars. Social media companies generate revenue by hosting ads for various brands. Large brands care a lot about their public image and usually want to avoid being associated with controversial political views. In the summer of 2020, over a thousand brands including the likes of Verizon, Adidas, and Ford boycotted advertising on Facebook in response to perceived hate speech on the platform. To be fair, some of this was purely PR posturing, as many of these brands were cutting their ad spending anyway due to the pandemic. But the fact of the matter is that large brands don't want their ads to be shown next to controversial social media posts. And if they're hesitant to even advertise on Facebook, what do you think the chances are that they would be interested in advertising on Trump's social media platform? So however many users Truth Social manages to attract, their average revenue per user will likely be far lower than the established megacap social media companies. In our opinion, DWAC appears to be a highly speculative and overvalued stock that is completely divorced from its fundamentals. And whenever a stock trades for reasons other than its fundamental value, it can almost be impossible to predict what it will do in the future. Most of the buying pressure is probably coming from individual investors who are active on Reddit forums such as Wall Street Bets. The strong price action creates a greater hype which brings in even more buyers into the market in a positive feedback loop. We could be witnessing the inflation of a financial bubble that will eventually burst when people finally decide to take profits. But even when a stock is obviously overvalued, it can stay overvalued for a long time. For example, GameStop is still sitting at more than 10 times higher than its pre-squeeze levels almost 10 months later. A recently released report by the SEC found that while the initial price appreciation in mid-January was likely the result of a short squeeze, it was mostly retail traders who pushed the stock above $300. Only a relatively small proportion of the volume came from short sellers covering their positions. The point is, if investors are willing to hold onto their positions, they can keep the price elevated for surprisingly long periods of time. But this is probably less likely to happen with DWAC, as it doesn't have the same social movement behind it that benefited GameStop and AMC. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. What do you think about Trump's new social media endeavor? Do you think it has a chance of becoming mainstream? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.